On this episode of NSFW, we are joined by best-selling science fiction author Andrew Maine. He debuts a new book trailer. We play Valentine's Day Problem Solvers and the lovely ladies Kimmy Kim and Frutron from the YouTube series Hollywood is Hard joins us to play Explain It to a Pretty Girl V-Day Edition. It's all coming up in this edition of NSFW. Someone gets married! <laughs> Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 114, recorded on Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2012. Chestnut the Unicorn. This episode of NSFW show is brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly, all streamed directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash twit. Oh, it's gone proud. Yeah. Oh, how do we not? It's not even so cold. No, that's it. That's it. That's good enough for me, dude. That means it's go. Time for NSFW, the new show full of wit and the new songs for the web. And that's the show that is nominally safe for work. I'm your host, Brian Brush. We're joined as always by the inimitable co host, the one, the only, Professor JRY. What is up, Justin Robert Young? I feel like I'm not far away from filming that Turkish Doctor Who parody. I, I feel I actually feel snubbed that I wasn't consulted to be cast. You do look astonishingly close. Hold on, let, let me see. We got this right here. Can I tell you? I thought it was both of you composited together. <laughs> Hold on, real quick. We got to see the side by side, real quick. This is we got we got call A, call B. Better one, better two. All right, ready, ready, and tell me if you see it. <laughs> that is astonishingly close <laughs> holy cow that is amazing dude uh first of all of course we are joined by andrew main the best-selling kindle author in the world um according to me and of course uh your friends of mine the chat realm what are we doing mr uh, justin robert rubles it's valentine's day brian which means love is in the air yeah, that's what. So we we're have gonna to... capitalize on it with two fun things. Uh, we have Andrew here. We're gonna play a game we haven't played in a while called Problem Solvers. Also, we're gonna dip into another old favorite, but it's gonna have a fun new twist on it. It's gonna be called Explain It to a Pretty Girl. You might remember it from NSFW '68 with Scott Johnson. Well, Brian's back to defend his crown, and joining us are budding YouTube starlets. Kimmy Kim and Frutron from the web series Hollywood is Hard. They will join us a little bit later. But before we get into anything, Andrew, you just finished a little project and put it up there on the interwebs. Oh, yes, I did, Justin. And I'll tell <laughs> you about froze. it when I start sending you video again. Any minute now. And my call just got dropped, which makes <laughs> my voice get very high. I have trouble keeping my internet erect. Man, Andrew, um, <laughs> do you think it's time that I got a raise? <laughs> I think that you deserve a raise three times over. And if I, <laughs> I certainly regret suggesting that waste time on NSFW was not a good endeavor from the beginning. <laughs> also, you're very hairy, and I'm going to say that before I answer this call. <clears throat> um, hey, Andrew, are you there, buddy? 
I'm there. I like froze. Yeah, no, it was very weird. And then you got very authentic, which we all appreciated. <laughs> so, um, uh, Andrew, I was saying before before you froze there that uh, you've been working on a project you just recently fin- finished and put up on the internet, right? That is correct, sir. I myself and only me, without any help from anybody else on the show at all. Uh, uh, <laughs> Justin helped too. I like I like uh, the fact that it was like a, that was like for me went, and eight other people in the audience. We wanted to make a uh, we wanted to make a book trailer for the next chronological man, which is out now called The Martian Emperor, and. Uh, Thought it would be fun to make a book trailer, and I'm like, oh, I'll, sp- I'll just spend two days on it. Ended up being eight days, and then I had to stop to actually go write books and Christmas and everything else. And then uh, – Wait, do you say you had to write Christmas? No, I wrote Christmas, Brian. Yes, it's one of the many things that I do is Christmas I actually Jones, write Christmas. your favorite uh, rap artist from prison. You had to write Christmas and let him know what's going Game on. detective. That's no, right. no, I actually wrote The Holiday, Brian. Please stay <laughs> yeah. with it, okay? No, he picked up that gig. They actually, I don't know if you guys uh, uh, figured it out, but uh, this is a, a grant actually from Obama that they have ebook writers write Christmas now because they can't That's afford bad. like real writers. All so. right, so real quick, let's take a look at the actual trailer here and keep in mind, let's play a little game called Guess Which Person is Justin Robert Young? And the answer is all of them, except for the one that's clearly not him. Uh, big prizes to go to the person in the chat room who guessed that Lady Liberty is played by Andrew Maine. Everything else was just a <laughs> Robert Young. I actually well, – well, there are uh, people, people uh, asking in the chat room. Um, yeah, this is for uh, Andrew Maine's book, uh, The Chronological Man 2, The Martian Emperor. It's the sequel to the first one, A Monster in the Midst, which you can get free right now on the podcast form. Uh, just go ahead to iTunes or go to andrewmaine.com slash books, and you can uh, subscribe to that. But uh, for people who are asking, oh, I thought it was in Boston. Did they move? This story does take place in uh, in, in New York City. By the way, real quick, real quick. This is this is actual footage of Houdini. Very excited to have found a watch. Hold on. In your face, bitches. That's a watch. <laughs> is that your watch? <laughs> I love it, man. Dude, I'm uh, so excited for this. <laughs> I'll tell you, it was it was awesome shooting this with with Andrew, but but uh, you know so but it, this took a while. There's a lot. It was a big learning curve for you putting all this together, right, Andrew? Uh, you know what? The hard part was just trying to find the time to get it all done. I think all told, we took it took us eight days to make the thing. And uh, one of the things we did is we did all the models, all the things you see there, the airships, all that was all done in Google SketchUp. And we didn't use 3D rendering. I just used uh, Motion to composite it all together. So that saved a lot of time because there are like 40 special effects shots in that minute. That's awesome, dude. That's fantastic. And so and so obviously the, the book's been out for, for a spell, but people can over, head over to where? Uh, if you want, the uh, the book is available right now at Amazon.com, Martian Emperor. All right. All right. Well, cool. Yeah. Hey, so, uh, so real quick, Justin. Justin, you. Oh, hold, I'm sorry, Brian. Uh, somebody just dropped this off for me. What is this? Oh, my God. <laughs> sorry. Oh, it's a Valentine from Chat Realm. <laughs> oh, oh, my oh. God. There's a sack full of these here. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not going to be able to read all of these. 
I read a couple of them. Can, I guess. Yeah, just read, just uh, read one. A Valentine from Chamberlain. That's wonderful. Demon Five. Thank you very much. I'm very flattered. Oh Hold my on. gosh. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, Brian. I can't read all these Valentines from chat room. Just God, read. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Just read one. Just read one. Oh, okay. I'll read. I'll read one. Uh, I'll just read. A, I just don't want. I don't want to play favorites here. Okay. Uh, this is from Kuhan to me. Um, oh, he spelled sincerely wrong, but thank you, Kuhan. That was very, very kind of you. <laughs> Rabbit Badger uh, very express, explicitly says, don't read mine in public. <laughs> yeah, which, uh, yeah, which no, I totally uh, believe. <laughs> it's from Giggle Loop. There was, I think there was a card in here. There's some photographs. Oh, it's from Rabbit Badger. Never mind. Okay. Anyhow, all right. All right. I am, fine. I'm, there's, I'll have to read a couple of these in here because, oh, wait. Oh, gosh. Chocolates, guys. Really? Really? <laughs> Dude, you are clearly the most beloved guest on. I know. What did? How did Brett react when he got it? Oh, hold on. Somebody just left this here. What is this? This is. This is... Oh, oh my look, god! It's a gigantic Valentine's card that says "Be Chat Mild." Realm? On it. That's I am, I am, huge. I am overwhelmed. <laughs> Andrew W says we honor honor you, Andrew Maine. Oh my uh, god! Let me let me see who this is from. Be mine. Bill Meeks. Yes. <laughs> I will. Okay, look. Uh, real quick, I, I, I made you a present, just Robert Young, by which I made you a present. What I mean is somebody else made a present for the internet. Somebody from Chat Realm sent it to me, and I thought it was kind of funny until I gave it, gave it to Bonnie, and she thought it was effing hilarious. So uh, before we begin anything, let's cleanse our palates by trying out this choose your own adventure that's available on YouTube. And let me say right now, we need to steal this idea or have this guy on the show and have him work with us. Point is, we need to do his awesome thing and make it even bigger and better. This is a text adventure in verbal form on YouTube called The Dark Room. It begins as such. You awake to find yourself in a dark room. All right, real quick, we got options. Go north, sleep, turn on light switch, or why? Justin? Turn on light switch. I clicked on turn on light switch. <laughs> and? How will you do that? <laughs> Look for light switch with my finger, go north. Uh, with my finger. <laughs> with your finger? Oh, God! You'd use your finger to turn on the light switch if you could find the bloody thing, which you can't because it's dark. You're in a dark room. You can't see the light switch unless your finger can see in the dark. Can it? <laughs> my finger can see. My finger is flipping you off. My finger is normal. <laughs> my finger can see. Okay. All right. I just clicked on that. <laughs> so your finger can see in the dark. Well... Congratulations! Your finger is in fact Chernobyl, and your entire body explodes in a shower of cancery, cancery, cancer, cancers. But don't worry, the radioactive isotopes in your body will last for another 120 years. 120 years of being radioactive and trapped. Trapped here in the dark room. You die, never knowing why you were in the dark room, why it was dark, <laughs> or why your finger was in fact an exploded Russian town. <laughs> Would you like to play again? <laughs> Would you, you, you want to give it another go? Play it again or quit? Uh, I'll let Andrew go ahead and all right, this All right, let's, let's start again. Play again from the top. It's Andrew this time. And Andrew? You awake to find yourself in a dark room. <laughs> what do you want to do? Why? Why? Got it. Clicked on why. <laughs> All right. Because it's dark and it's a room and you're awake in it. <laughs> <laughs> so you got sleep, go north, turn on the light switch. What do you want to do? Oh, uh, hold on. Let me just finish. I got another box of chocolates here. Um. <laughs> uh, let's go, 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 no, go north. Okay, we'll go north. <laughs> done right. and done. Chat realm, again, you outdid so, yourselves. You could go north. If you knew where north was, which you can't, because you're in a dark room. It's dark. You're in a dark room. What about this? Don't you bloody understand? All right, what do you want to do? Find light switch, check pockets, chuck pockets. I like pockets. chuck pockets. <laughs> chuck pockets? pockets, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Throw your pockets into the dark room. Now you're in the dark room, and you're not even wearing pants. Luckily, it's dark, so no one else knows you're not wearing pants, but you know. 
You know what you've done, you dirty, pantsless thing. <laughs> you want to touch wall or weep? <laughs> you know, he tried this out on his girlfriend once. <laughs> It's like Pepe Le Pew. Uh, weep. <laughs> okay, weep. <laughs> All right. Boo hoo hoo. You weep in the darkness. The dark room is indifferent. In fact, it's so dark, you can't even see the tears you cry. Is there anything as sad as tears only you can feel but nobody can see? <laughs> fine, fine light switch or exit? <laughs> exit. Okay, exit. And then, uh, this time it says... Success! You walk through the exit and leave the dark room. <laughs> that was so easy, it's almost like it didn't happen. Which it didn't! You're in a dark room! <laughs> <laughs> Unplugged computer is the le only option. <laughs> I'll just click on it for you. <laughs> the fact you clicked that instead of actually doing it is why you couldn't find the light switch. <laughs> and that's the end. <laughs> Seriously, what a great idea. By the way, this comes from That's Mr. Robertson on YouTube, and it's called The Dark Room. Just look for The Dark How is Room. How doing? Is it big? No. Okay, so here's the thing. If you look at it, each of the individual pieces, like that one thing we saw is just at 9,600 views. And if you go back to the beginning, again, like here, I'll just type in uh, The Dark Room. And you got to figure that the first video out of all of them is going to be the one that is the most popular. Even that one is only at 67,000. Yeah, no, I, that's that's good, but it's not gigantic. Now, hold on. Before we get into the, the problem solvers bit, let me, let me just figure out. Andrew, are you still eating this chocolate? I found another. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> <laughs> Car keys. Chat realm. Please. Oh, my God. Please. This is too much. This is too oh, much. Right. I can't accept this. Okay, all right, all right. Hold on. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Now, I'm sorry, guys. I apologize. two weeks in a row that... We've had a guest on, Brett last week, you this week, where all of a sudden, Chat Realm starts pouring affection, trophies, Valentine's Day things. It just, it just seems to me a little suspicious that maybe this is, this is a you and Brett thing and that maybe Chat Realm isn't involved in this at all. Hold, listen, I got a sign for this. I just got a package. Excuse me one second, okay? Hold on one moment. Sorry. Why are there holes in there? Hold on. Hold on. Apparently there's a delivery at 1034 on the East Coast. Directly to Andrew's room. What is What is that? To Andrew, hey, to from, Andrew from Chat, chat room. room. Oh, my gosh. They clearly, they clearly... What? Love you. What what on earth could be in that box? What like you're saying is it like FedEx is involved in this just all right. What, what, all right, chat room, listen. This is the last present. Technogasms. This is the last present, okay? Te Technogasms in the chat realm asks, Do we get him a lady? Let's see what's I can't see I'm A okay. baby unicorn. <laughs> what? 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's a baby unicorn! Oh my god! I can't believe it! Oh, just look at him! He's so cute! He's mostly my face! He's gonna sneeze! He sneezes glitter! He sneezes glitter! Oh my god! Wow! Totally not fake, oh, says the chat room. I can't take this is too much! I can't take. Oh, he gave me Valentine's Day cards. <laughs> <laughs> Illiterate Too baby much. unicorn who just issued you a Valentine's Day card. All right, now, uh, Andrew, this is this is getting a little a little out of hand. I mean, I'm not suggesting that this baby unicorn that writes letters and gave you a Valentine sent from Chat Realm and certainly is completely unrelated to Brett's awards last week isn't real, but, but it's not real, right? Like, <laughs> Are you asking me a question? <laughs> Did the baby oh, unicorn so give you more okay, chocolates? I'll, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's adorable. Okay. I'll, I'll get this later, all right? Um, you're talking about how, like, Brett got medals. This was after I got a bunch of medals, like, a year ago? Uh, I mean, I guess you could put it that way. That's one way to put it. Uh, that, that would be kind of a weirdly one-dimensional way to look at the scene. Yeah, but yeah, sure. I on. suppose the unicorn's about to sneeze. Hold on, hold on. 
was adorable. Oh, he even sneezes glitter and confetti. Oh, guys, thank you so much. The baby unicorn sneezing looks suspiciously oh. like a champagne popper. <laughs> wow. It's um, magic, well, well, listen, guys. Um, it's magic, all right? Okay, I mean, listen, magic, uh, you know, I guess it looks suspiciously like something you could buy at Walmart for $3 <laughs> for a pack of 12. Um, okay. Don't well, listen to them. Don't let's listen to them. Leave, okay. we'll, we'll leave that where we'll leave that where where it is. We'll get into problem solvers. Who knows what else Thank will be delivered? Chat here. realm. Thank you, Brian. You may pet my unicorn. All right, you can pet the baby unicorn that Chat realm sent me. Okay, I don't, I Justin. Don't think no, I to, sorry. I did. That's okay. I don't really. It's not sanitary. Listen to him. Don't listen giggle to loop him. in the chat room. Just because it's f- affordable doesn't mean it isn't magical. Uh, admonishing me. <laughs> my Touché. Walmart comment. Touche. All right. It's, so look, it's, it's a good point. Now listen, Brian. Problem solvers. Been a while since we played it. Let's get into it. Can you explain what we do on this bit? Yeah. Look, here's the problem: is is the inter- somebody's wrong on the internet, and they're getting bad advice from the internet. And what they need is a bunch of smart individuals to come swooping in and uh, solve their problems. And that's why we- I'm sorry. What are you What are you doing? What What I'm is sorry, this? Sorry, they keep delivering these. Please continue. Continue. <laughs> It, it, it's going to happen all night. Just keep going. Chat room. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, but let's continue the show, okay? Um, actually, I've I... seen your love, all right? And we know there's nothing better. I mean, I'll... all of them. <laughs> Please, go ahead. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. All right, but the point is, what I was trying to say is, like, uh, people have problems, and what we like to do is we like to call them up, and then that's why we call it... Problem solver. And in this case, you can see the part of Sarah Lane is going to be played by one Andrew Maine. So what you've asked people to send us their problems Main and on Lane the rhyme. Main, Main Lane. Good old Main Lane, we call him. Did, did she get a baby unicorn as a present? She, had, she uh, got three of them, actually, from oh. Brett Rounceville. Oh, who, really? Who can oh, afford three unicorns. Mm. Please so, continue. By himself. By himself. I'll by tell himself. you what, dude. The mo- kind of money he's making, I'm sure MG can afford a whole <laughs> paddock of them. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe that is Here we go. Uh, Brian. So Lane. he's better than me. Okay, I get it. Go ahead. No, uh, it's not like, Andrew, it's not like that. It's not like that. Okay? I'm happy with my one baby unicorn that Chat Realm bought me, okay? And That's the fine. billions no, of Valentine's. No, no, no one's saying that it was, that, she, that she's better than you, or the unicorn doesn't matter. The unicorn, of course, the unicorn matters. It's okay. He's it's okay. sleeping. Shh. All right? It's, it's, all right. Shh. Now, <laughs> here's how the game is played. People have emailed in all day their love problems. It's a Valentine's Day themed edition of this particular bit. We're going to read what their problem is, and then me, Andrew, and Brian are going to assign to each other three very important tasks. Someone to summarize the problem in a a witty one-sentence way. One person to give an answer to their problem in a witty, humorous way. And one person to give a witty rejoinder that ends the call. It's not a call in bit, it's a call out bit. We call these people, we yell at them the advice, and then we hang up immediately yes. and move on. Okay, so let's take a look. First of all, we got from Brandon. I probably shouldn't be showing his phone number there on the screen. Uh, <laughs> Justin, uh, Brandon says, uh, this fan top Valentine's Day will be a lonely one or an awkward one. My best friend's cousin is eight years older than me, and she's a stripper. We met at this family reunion and have been talking every day since. How do I make a move on my stripper crush without losing a best friend in the process? That's from Brandon. All right. Uh, I feel like uh, I, I can either do uh, the, 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 you know what, I'll do, I'll do the advice. All right, well, for, first of all, let's talk about what should the advice, what is the proper move when in this situation? I'm going to take a wild guess and say that strippers in general respond to two things, <laughs> confidence and money. <laughs> and not so, in that order. In that order. Uh, uh, okay, so you're saying, uh, uh, I mean, first of all, let me let me, let me me get our finger out of the pulse of the chat room. I mean, I would assume it's just go for it. Just go for it and be quiet and don't worry about your best friend. Well, uh, listen, you can't just come up and, and compliment a stripper and expect her to go home with you. That's all she does. That's literally her entire job well, is, no, 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 is but, to rebuff guys. 
She said, we met at this family reunion and have been talking every day since. So they already have a connection. This is not a, this is not an approach. This Do is you a, not know how strip clubs work. These girls have regular saps that come in there every single day and just empty half their paycheck into their G string. And, and they just keep them coming back for more. That's what being a stripper is. That's what having a regular is. But but again, He's not going to a strip club. This is a this is a cousin of his best friend. So he's I meeting understand. him outside of this is there are rules within the arena and then there's rules outside of the arena. This is an outside of the arena connection. As Gene Hackman said in the Royal Tannenbaums, there are no rules, Chazzy. This is absolutely a situation where you need to control these you need to control every parameter of this. You can't leave this in her hands. Now, what, 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 what does that even mean? So you're going to suggest that what? He, he, he totally he raped her? What is this? No! Oh, my God. Sweet mother of Jehoshaphat. Well, why have, it goes right there telling that you went right there. <laughs> okay. Right. Why? But you're saying you're the one who's just shouting like, take control of the situation. They I'm obviously. That's confident. They have a have connection. This is happening. Cocaine. This is happening uh, on its own. Why not continue to let it happen on its own and just continue to have their private courtship? You're all like, no, he's got to take more charge. You're adorable if you think you can pick strippers up like that. Well, have you dated a stripper? No. <laughs> well, then how do you know how to pick up strippers? I'll guarantee I've been to more strip clubs than you have. <laughs> I believe that. I, I don't know. Uh, all right. Well, what? Okay. So how are we, how are we going to do this? So I'm up? just saying, listen, I, I, I think we're on the same page. We're, just all I'm saying is that he needs to, it can't just be like, hey, I like you. I think you're pretty. I'd like to take uh, you out on a date. I, can I say that I've seen strippers try to date Justin? I, I believe that. I've also seen hobos have sex with dead corpses. So what? What's your point? <laughs> you wait. You really saw that? Yes, I totally did. When? Um, at Hobo Corpse of Palooza, 1997. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> I really hated it uh, after it went corporate, though. As Cor- soon as it corporate into, like Pepsi presents <laughs> a hobo rape Corpse of Palooza. <laughs> It's just, you know, all of a sudden now it's $8 for water and, you know, the art stand gets smaller and smaller and all the independent. It really was. Get it, it really, really was. Uh, okay, look, I'm going to call Brendan. <clears throat> uh, well, you we decide what our roles are. Well, okay. Well, you obviously want to give the advice. Uh, I, I will I will do a witty rejoinder at the end. What's your advice going to be just so I know how to uh, surmise it? Well, I'm just going to say he needs to be confident and uh, bring uh, – Party favors. Okay, okay, got it. Uh, All right. Uh, Andrew, do you know what your role in this is? Because he has to go first. Yeah. So what will happen is we're going to call him, and the moment you hear hello, I'm going to play this little gem. Problem solved. And then you will immediately start talking, summarizing his problem, followed by Justin, and then I'll wrap things up. Done. Okay, you ready? All right, here we go. We're going to call this guy, Brandon. Wait, what was the... What was what was your advice again? Uh, I'm I don't know. <laughs> and by the blah is pointing out of the chat room. We're not supposed to plan. That's the point of this bid. All right, whatever. We'll we'll just give him a call. Oh wait, what is he not answering now? Go answer. What? Really? We we went through all this. I just lost the last of my call credit. <laughs> I was not prepared for that. I'll tell you what. Why don't you take a moment to thank the people who make this show possible? <laughs> really, Brian? And I will go ahead. Jesus. I have not run into this before. Uh, Andrew, uh, you ever use a service called Netflix? Netflix. Tell me more. So here's the deal with Netflix. Uh, you might have heard about it back in the 90s. When uh, you could get DVDs by mail, and they still do that. You want to know what? You want to get any DVD they have in their library? And boy, how do they have every single DVD that's ever come out? Then you can still do that. But really where the money is made in terms of your enjoyment is watching on instant. Netflix instant streaming goes to your iPad, 
your Android device, your iPhone, your set top boxes like the like the Apple TVs and the Roku's, Xboxes, Playstations, literally anything you can think of that hooks up to the internet. They're going to put Netflix on there in their entire instant streaming catalog where you can get hundreds of thousands of hours of television and movies streamed right to you immediately. Even on my Amazon Kindle Fire? Even on your Amazon Kindle Fire. That thing came out five seconds ago. Don't matter. They got Netflix all up in there streaming to your delight. Like, look, I got Netflix right there. Absolutely. You can go in there and find... At any time, I could watch, let's say, Michael Wood's documentary series, Legacy, about the origins of culture and find out how civilization started in the deserts where we maybe thought we found the original Eden all the way up to today. Anytime I want. Anytime you want. Or you can watch Portlandia, the IFC series featuring Fred Armisen and the lady from Slater Kinney, which is very funny. You can watch any number of television shows that are regularly updated, including okay. that Downton Abbey show, What with the British People. Now, what about, like, more recent movies? Let's say I wanted to watch something that came out, like, Limitless. Would that be there? You can watch it right now. In fact, I, I would dare you to just take your chocolate-smeared fingers and watch Limitless right now while the rest of the show goes on. And you can just let us know that Netflix instant streaming is the way to go. Now, folks, if you don't have Netflix instant streaming, first slap yourself in the face as hard as you can. I'm serious. I'm going to pause this right now. And we're back. I hope you hit yourself so hard that a tooth came out. All right, wait. Go I got to interrupt. Go, go ahead. What about original content? Let's say I like mobsters and I like Norwegian drama. You can go ahead and watch Lillehammer available what? right now on Netflix Instant Streaming. All right, you don't need to you know guys don't need to pretend to keep doing that. First of all, go go to netflix.com slash twit and you can sign up for your free thirty day trial. Uh, I eventually gave up. Apparently, even though I just updated my credit card info, the Yahoo thing, and to be honest, the only reason that I love the Yahoo voice thing is because it does this loud hang up sound. Listen, it does that when it hangs up. So we won't have that. So I'm going to have to do it on Skype. So instead, let's call this gentleman <clears throat> who, uh, what was his name? Brandon? Brendan? Brendan? Brandon. Brandon, Brendan? <laughs> Dear go. problem solvers, I run a popular web show and forgot to have a way to call people. <laughs> yeah, we, don't, we, don't, we don't do the tiny things. Wait for it. Hello? Problem solvers. So there's a girl. You like this girl. But it's complicated. She's related to somebody that you know. It's a good friend. She's got a job, an occupation that maybe some people might consider a, a little bit out there, maybe a little bit awkward. You're not sure how to approach her, how you should talk to her, or how you should handle the whole situation because this little, little affair of the heart could complicate things. But you're ready to complicate things because you're ready to step up and you're not going to let anybody tell you no. So this is what you got to do. Swagger, confidence, cash, and cocaine. And then she'll be in your bed without a doubt. You heard it here first. Stand tall. You can bang them all. Problem solved. Click. Just pre go. pretend you heard the click at the end. Play. That's the one good thing about the about the. All right, whatever. Uh, not bad, not bad. Uh, listen, it's not for me to critique, but uh, I was I was getting some stuff from the chat room saying that maybe maybe the summary should be like take up less time than the actual letter itself, and that's not for me. That's not for me to suggest to Andrew. I'm just saying. Good mm. thing you're not suggesting it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. All right, look, what's the next one we got here, Justin? Uh, all right, we have. Uh, let's go with the T. It's it's uh it, yeah it's yeah, yeah I see it I see it right here. Uh, dearest problem solvers, a while ago I got bored and put out an OK Cupid profile. One guy sent me explicit photos face included. I realized after a few months at my job that it was one of my supervisors. I had not been hired yet. Should I mention his messages? Just call me if you need to. Oh, my God. Is this for reals? 
This is for reals. I mean, uh, T has been a longtime listener of the show. I don't know why she would make it up. She doesn't seem like somebody who would indulge in fanciful tales. But this is a very, very interesting problem. Uh, This guy sent pictures of his bait and tackle uh, with his face in the picture on a public OkCupid profile, which just shows why nobody should have an OK Cupid profile. Okay, I listen, mean, listen. This is this is a tough thing cuz on the way, I mean, first of all, the no, number one not. got it. The number one question is 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 this guy bangable? Like was it was it an impressive bait and tackle? Or was it a bait and switch? That's your question. That's the first thing that pops into your mind. Dude, not, hey, it's weird that somebody I work with is sending uh, pictures of his of his of his junk uh with only his face matters. in the picture. Nope. Uh, only, not it. not questioning him at all nope. it's like no nope. the question is over six are we talking over six yes well, we're talking Earth that's again because think about it if if he's look look if some chick sends you a naked picture of her are you worried about the ethics of her being your boss are you thinking like wow okay, dim's right. nice you're officially relegated to summarizing the problem andrew you're going to solve the problem and i'll give the witty rejoinder all i right. can't i can't abide by this don't really, get really brian uh, well, listen, I, I call them like I see them or imagine seeing them and <laughs> get excited about imagining to see them. <laughs> and I would imagine that you would call it Moby Dick if it was to your liking. <laughs> I'm just saying there was no comment on the on the quality. Quality matters. I will summarize. <laughs> I will summarize. Um, no, you want to know what? You deserve it. Nope. I'll, I'll give the I'll give nope. the summary. I'm you summarizing. The answer. I'm, I'm summarizing. The answer. No, I'm summarizing. Brian, you feel passion for this, and we're going to follow it. Justin, we're follow you cannot possibly, you cannot have it both ways. That will be an upcoming question on problem solvers. <laughs> what I'm saying is, is that, is that I, I'll summarize it. And what, it, what, what about you? Already gave advice, uh, Justin. Yeah. So, so that I'm means either the witty rejoinder. All right. Or... So the advice is going to belong to one, uh, one Andrew Main. Let's give T a call. Come on. Come on. You think it's bigger or shorter? Hello? Problem solver. So you just found out that your boss is Long Dong Silver. (laughs) Why, in this uncertain economy, give up the opportunity for blackmail? Blackmail is what you would have called it if you were African American. <laughs> Problem solved. And there it is. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. I feel like we're solving problems here. I feel like we're getting into a rhythm. Let's do one more. I feel like we're we're, we're solving things. All right. Well, who do you want to who do you want to hit up next? We got a bunch on the list right here. Let's go ahead and do. M? We feeling M? Let's go with M. Let's go with M, yeah. All right, done and done. It says here, problem. My problem is I have a girlfriend, and it's our first Valentine's Day together. But instead of spending it with me, she has decided to stay home with her parents. What do I do? What do you say to that? (laughs) Wow. Well, Andrew, the only fair thing would be for you to do the witty rejoinder at the end of the advice. Uh, I will summarize the problem. Brian, I think it's time that you finally dusted off the old advice box and threw out a chestnut <laughs> to that, young Ed. By the way, is that what the kids are calling it today? Dust off the old advice box and throw out a chestnut. <laughs> you right? have a it sounds like something real when Justin says it. And then when you call attention to it, Brian, I realize, wait, Jimmy, you just made that Jimmy, up. Jimmy, what are you doing in there? I'm just dusting off the old advice box. Thought I'd throw off a chestnut. You get any chestnuts on the mirror, we're going to be very upset. <laughs> well, they wouldn't be called chestnuts if they landed on the mirror, would they, Ma? They'd be mirror nuts. <laughs> Well, finally, I've worked up to chestnuts before they were just belly nuts. <laughs> okay, let's call him so real. So I'm giving the advice. Um, <clears throat> all right, here we go. We're giving him a call. Come on. M. 
Miss Money Penny. Come on! Don't make us edit this. Um. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Three, one. No, 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 no. We don't want to hear that. Okay, I'm going to bleed that. Nine, two is not available. At the tone, please record your message. Whatever. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Problem solvers. You're afraid that your girlfriend hates your guts because you don't pick up the stupid phone and she's hanging with her parents on Valentine's Day. Have sex with her parents. Because they're alone because she's out on a date right now. Oh! Song. Click. <laughs> I liked her that way. That was a hook at the end. It was a twist. I mean, let's was, all be that was, honest here. Girl, that was an inception oh, no, I'm, level I'm gonna twist. I'm going to Valentine's Day with my parents. You're like, oh, I'm sorry. I was busy having sex with both of your parents, and I don't remember seeing you oh, there. Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah. Me and your dad were gangbanging your mom. <laughs> Chinese finger cuffs. And uh, I don't remember you being there, unless you were in China. This is Chinese finger cuffs. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure direct. you leave your shoes in the foyer before you step on the carpet. All right. Um, <clears throat> well, there we go. That, I think that, that's good for problem solvers. Since we've I, already I think we solved some problems. End. I feel like this we've done good We normally this do guys. that. But let's move into... Our, uh, our our next bit. Is there any way that we can get our our our, our special special guest? We already have our special guest. Well, we have- uh, yeah, I I sent them the Skype. So if they could call me on the Skype, the uh, gift that'd be good. Right, while they do, I just want to let anybody uh, chat realm. I really appreciate the baby unicorn, but he belongs to all of you. And if any of you want to pet him or take care of him, you're welcome to. I don't know why uh, Muley Man is like testing us on whether or not we're actually live. He's like, if this is live, say shenanigans. We shouldn't say it. <laughs> then I'll know that you're live. <laughs> I oh, mean, man, a huge outpouring from the chat room about hugging and petting the unicorn. Well, I think I think he belong. We need to need, have a name for him. I, I want chat room to help me come up with a name for the unicorn. Oh, they'll have it up there instantly. But meanwhile, I need to. Uh, I guess I'll look at the. Let me see if I can find. Hey, is there a reason that Brian you sent me? Doesn't mean to be mean to you. It's okay. Uh, hey, Andrew, can I can I talk about what you sent me just recently? Like some legal briefs about something. Is there is there a reason that you sent that to me? Is that a thing? I just thought it was interesting. You know, it's like you you, you look at not nothing to do with us. Remember, that's sealed by a court order. I just thought it was kind of amusing to kind of look at like the problems other people have. Okay, okay. Well, do you want you want to set this up? This is actually a very NSFW oh, show it, topic. People are suggesting chestnut the unicorn. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> it's the right color. Um, chestnut. Here's. I just sent Brian this. Uh, it was a document because apparently Hollywood and all that's it's convoluted. It's weird, and uh, I guess uh, Christopher Pine, you know, uh, Captain Kirk, and soon to be Jack Ryan is involved with some sort of uh, his his the agencies with has uh, I feel like I'm like a gossip columnist in a suit here. Let me tell you. Um, apparently uh, the agency he's with, he left them and then there's some sort of thing just blew up on like Deadline Hollywood about like the, you know, like the terms and the deals. So every deal he's made, they're publishing how much he made and all that. Uh, okay, and can you basically it's just like you, we got to find out how much Chris Pine makes per movie and go on. And how much so getting paid to be Captain? You guys are burying the lead. You're like anyway. So that's the I, end of that story. Because I don't have it in front of me. I just sent it to you like, oh, this is kind of interesting. So what was the numbers? I couldn't read it all. Oh, I was like, uh, I don't know. I was like, it was just interesting one to point. See. If you go to Deadline dot com, you can see the the PDF or whatever for it. It's just kind of curious because you see that like. Even when you're famous, you've got problems. You know, they just sort of scale up, and you know, they go into like what the residuals are for what he would get for doing like the Star Trek movies and all that. And I really don't remember the numbers. He's okay. getting one point five million for the second Star Trek movie, three million for the third Star Trek movie, five million for the movie that's coming out uh, this week. This means war with Tom Hardy and what's her face, uh, and then a bunch of other stuff for things. Four point two five for Welcome to People. I don't know if you know what that is. Apparently, he goes and meets a bunch of people. <laughs> hey, uh, real quick. I have sent off a second invitation to the ladies. I, I think you're going to have to send over on Skype what who it is I should call for them because I'm not getting anything yeah. back from them. 
This is apparently how hard it is to get like a, a female, actual girls onto the show. And exactly. I wore a suit and everything. <laughs> Not that you're bitter. Not that you're bitter. Just trying to, you know. I'll tell you what. Valentine's uh, you Day. Sent I wore over chat to realm, of course, because when they asked me to be their Valentine, it's the least I could do. Is well, apparently there's even less you could do, like show up in a t-shirt. Hey, Justin, how are you doing? I'm doing a okay. <laughs> couldn't couldn't ask for more. I don't know where uh, where Andrew is going to send that over to me, but meanwhile, I guess uh, well, hell, let's take just a moment. Oh, hold on, hold on. Wait a moment. Wait. Those sound like girl words. I got the good microphone. Ladies. Hello. Joining us on a CB radio, ladies and gentlemen. Holy (laughs) (laughs) Who had who had random ladies as winning the belts? (laughs) Um. Yeah. No. They're very impressed. Uh, Ladies, can you send us video? Yeah, here. Oh my God! Hey, yes. Hey, there we go, yeah! ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome to the show, uh, Kimmy Kim and Fruitron from the YouTube series Hollywood is Hard. You can just YouTube that up. Uh, if, if you haven't seen their stuff, it's hilarious. So please check it out. Awesome. Hey guys, I told you if I was going to let you make a mannequin of my body, you could not put it on video like that. And you certainly couldn't put a, a deputy badge on there. <laughs> That's actually what I have. Oh, they. Hey. Oh, that- wow. Look at that. Hold on, folks. If you go ahead and look over uh, on, on the left side of their uh, <laughs> the screen there, that is a vintage promo shot of <laughs> Andrew Main with tight pants and a katana sword and a, uh, a shirt that goes down to uh, the top of his pubes. Oh, my God. That's dope, man. That's awesome. Let me, that, let me that's what I used to wear just on the street going around, you know. <laughs> that is awesome. Hang on, yeah, that, me- that is right behind... Uh, Kimmy Kim on the left, Fruitron is on the right in the in the uh, the spotted ad, and Andrew Maine right behind. There. Yes, dude, and that's awesome. Is that flame in your hands? Are you are you mastering the power of fire itself, Andrew? You know, you guys. You know, next year you're all gonna have eight by tens like that. <laughs> is that photoshopped in? No, that's no. legitimate. Apparently, that's legit. This was okay. probably done before they had a thing called Photoshop. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> he admitted reluctantly. <laughs> so, uh, real quick, just to recap for anyone who's never seen the show before, you're you're putting a twist on this one, Justin, right? You're you're doing a judge's ruling. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Here's the deal: we we've done a, a bit on this show co- uh, before called "Ask or Explain It to a Pretty Girl," and since we have two pretty girls and it's Valentine's Day, I thought that they would work as a unit. And you guys would have a bit of a twist. So Andrew and Brian are going to face off each, against each other in a simple three-question challenge. And the chat realm is going to supply them with the lines they have to say. Okay, now, now uh, are, are each of us going to say the same line and then explain no. it? You guys are going to pick, and it's going to be uh, first come, first serve for whoever picks out the line. So just say when you have it. And you'll okay, be able now, to say uh, it so, so again, like... Uh, chat realm doesn't seem to all they're doing is shouting hot over and over and over yes. again I know, clearly because I, I need to explain to them what they're writing okay what are they writing <laughs> okay here's what they're writing they are going to write super nerdy pickup lines super nerdy pickup so lines the more inside the reference to the to the franchise the nerdier the franchise i want i want franchises that babylon 5 fans are like oh i haven't gotten around to reading that yet Okay, like that's that's what I'm looking for. Okay, and, and, so, so, and so and so our job is to what deliver the line or to explain the line, explain why it's interesting. You have to explain your passion. That's the point of this: is you're taking a very nerdy element and you are explaining what it means to these two young ladies, and they are going to uh, they are going to decide which one of you did the best job. Okay. All right. So, like, uh, uh, so and th- this could be science. I think I see some good science stuff in there. Um, I see there's some science fiction, science, just nerdy as hell is what you want to do. You guys say it and then explain it. Okay. So, like, so just, uh, whoever what? wants to go first. Feeling my oh. pants. Woo! <laughs> I, I got one. All right, go okay, for it. Andrew, what, what do you see? Go ahead. Forget your G spot. I want to find your Higgs boson. Okay. Now, now, Andrew, ex- explain to the ladies what that means and why they should uh, be sexually attracted to that. 
Okay, I don't know what the first thing is, <laughs> but the second thing, the Higgs boson, it's a particle in physics that's very elusive, and we're trying to build really big experiments to find it. What that has to do with a, uh, a J-spot, I have no idea. But <laughs> as far as the science part of it, it's really fascinating because finding the Higgs boson can really explain a lot about the fundamental nature of the universe. J-spot. <clears throat> you said J-spot. <laughs> yeah, whatever it is. I don't care. Let's talk about the Higgs boson. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Uh, well, look. Well, well, well Kimmy, Kimmy and Fruitron, uh, hold on. Brian, do you have yours? Yeah. No, I, I definitely saw this from the from the chat realm. Uh, FLS Carnage says, uh, hey, baby, can I skexis your gelfling? Yeah. Right? Well, I know what my gelfling is, but I think I want one. It sounds awesome. See? I Don't think it's self-explanatory. It, As we all know, skexis means massage, and gelfling means your daughter. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, in all seriousness, that was a Dark Crystal reference, which is awesome because the Dark Crystal was awesome. And what? <laughs> wait, wait, explain these. What is, yeah, what is Brian, it? That, that's... Ladies, I bet both of these ladies know what the Dark Crystal is. You know what the Dark I, Crystal I, I, is? Dark yeah, I in my head. There, yeah, there. I'll give you. A, I'll, I'll give you a hint. The shard is about nine inches long, and you definitely hide it under your belt, right? And then yeah. you shove it into the dark crystal, and yeah. it's not really supposed to go there. But then it's like the dark crystal expands, and it, it becomes be whole. And it's not supposed to go there. Exactly right. And then all of a sudden, the Skexis and the uh, those other old dudes. The old dudes oh, and the Skeksis become why one. You, why are you running away from this, Brian? Why are you playing cool kid and not act, and acting like you don't know what this reference is? Uh, number one, <laughs> Justin, you clearly have not seen the Dark Tower because anyone who's seen the Dark Tower <laughs> understands Dark I am Crystal. exactly Dark running Crystal. away with the this. Dark don't Tower. You've seen the dudes. Dark Tower. The Dark Crystal. Dark Crystal. Whatever. Go screw yourselves. I hate you both. Especially you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Not well, not listen, fight, ladies, fight, I apologize fight. for both. Nerd these fight! Dark Crystal. Dark Crystal. <laughs> Uh, but but, Kimmy Kim Fruitron, which of these two did you find more dashing in their nerd come ons? They're whispering. Which is ironically them. also come on nerds. Mm. The judges <laughs> still writing down final figures. Skexis. Oh! Is point one for Brian. Listen, let, look. Here's the thing. I don't want. I don't want to expose my tactic here. But it's like when somebody it's else so zigs tactic. and starts talking about his god particle, you gotta be. You gotta be the funny guy in the room. He whips out his Higgs boson and shoots God You're all over the. Dangerously close to being disqualified for not being nerdy enough. Man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm the judge. Says, I'm gonna, I, I okay. will not hesitate to pull out a red card on you. Uh, says the don't. man who didn't get the, uh, the, the shard reference. Go no, ahead. I got the shard reference. I, I objected to you going, eh, those old guys or something. Because like you, you were shamed. You were shamed of Jim Actually, Henson's no, I magic. couldn't remember. I remember the Skeksis, and, uh, the, the Skeksis and I don't remember what the old guys were. Uh, you guys know. Can you guys tell me? See, look at this. Everyone's backing me up. You are cowardly, but you got away with it. And that's the only one you're going to get away with. Uh, chat realm. This is like professional support. wrestling. This is this is picking up chicks as professional wrestling. I'm not ashamed of my nerddom, guys. <laughs> exactly. Andrew's marching boldly forward, and I think he's going to be rewarded for All it. All right. Go ahead in the chat room. Let's give him a couple more. Uh, Germ Willard says, girl, I'm sagging all my love for you. Ooh. Girl. <laughs> Like that. Is I'm that kidding. a port compression coil, or well, you just say ones? Pick one. Okay, no, no. no. Okay, look, we have audio listeners, and they got to hear the ones that aren't being picked. You should let us read some. Yes, that's what I'm Actually, saying. Travel in your time vortex. I like that one. Wait, uh, okay, there we go. Hey, Ramona, your flower. No. <laughs> hey, baby, call me Freud because I'm. Oh, oh, no, scrolling. <laughs> I wish I could read. Uh, let's do this. Woo! Somebody just said woo. Hey, baby, you want to take a ride in my TARDIS? It's bigger on the inside. Is that what it said? What? That was a good delivery. Ooh, it was. Okay, Maybe there we go. Did. Andrew, uh, explain that reference. All right, explain yeah. it. So, you see, the TARDIS is actually a device built by the Gallifreyan Time Lords. And what it is, it takes you through time and space. 
and you have more space on the inside of it because it bends the fabric of the universe, and it looks just like that. And it's really cool because it's this guy called the Doctor, Doctor Who. He's the one that flies around in the TARDIS because he's really awesome, and he has these sidekicks. And they're usually sometimes girls, but there's not a whole lot of like uh, sexual tension between them because he's like 800 years old and you know a little bit beyond that. Unless, you know, it's a girl that looks like a drag queen. So that's pretty much what that means. So the TARDIS is bigger on the inside. That's pretty good. Okay, that's a good one for Andrew. Uh, Brian, have you selected yours? Yes. Yes, let me open it up. <clears throat> All right, you guys ready? Yes. Baby, we got a connection like Legolas Wood and Jane Cobb in the FSL Championship game. Now, here's what's awesome. This guy right here. This guy, he's the guy. Justin hosts another show called FSL Championship tonight edition. He's super famous on the web, and he's my bro. And both of those are guys that are mentioned in it. I would like to point out that was the only suggestion that I got in the chat room. Catch another one, Maine. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently now Fruitron and, and, and Andrew Maynard are throwing roses to each other through the internet. Uh, well, well, Kimmy, Fru, uh, which of those two did you find more appealing? Uh, uh, Brian stammering and making no sense? Uh, or, or Andrew telling you about the Gallifrey and Time Lords and their mystical TARDIS? I, there's something about the word TARDIS. Oh, really? It is really sexy to me. I, I don't know why. Or maybe it was the whisper that came along with the delivery. Here we go. Well, I'm going to get with Dr. Who. It's 1-1. One, one. Andrew Maine is on the board. Congratulations to Andrew Maine. I'm not going to fight my geek heritage. <laughs> there we go. And I feel like, Brian, the chickens came home to roost on that one. You I, weren't you weren't prepared. You didn't want to embrace your geekiness. And a bitch yeah. you were. <laughs> I feel like it was only because I got two suggestions and both of them came from Kuhan. Maybe that's just me. Well, you're the one reading. You're the one that's burning off good ones at the beginning. <laughs> Folks, oh, chat room, fine. we only need two more. Let's go ahead and get them down there in the chat room. Now, what I want you guys actually here. Here's the, the bonus round, the final tiebreaker. The way we're going to decide this Valentine's Day edition is, uh, ladies, Kimmy Kim Fruitron, I want you to look at the chat room, at, at the chat room here, and find one you like and ask one of the gentlemen to explain it to you. Yes. <laughs> you you want me to? I'm, I'm, uh, but if you see one you like, say pause it, and I'll pause wait, wait, it. Go back. You go with that. Some guy said, "Hey, do you like my lion? Because I can show you a mane. I'll never forget." <laughs> but that doesn't have to do with anything geeky or scientific. I know, but someone really likes Andrew Maine. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Well, maybe a lot of people. Geeky, I got a unicorn tonight. Except the protein in my receptor. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what was that one? Chase right there. I'm into bondage. I am the dungeon master after all. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that. That's a penis with balls. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen one of those. If I was an operating system, your process would have top priority. All uh, right, there we go. Who wants to take that? Brian or Andrew? Uh, listen, here's the thing. I'll, I'll, take, I'll take that, dude. Let me tell you. Look, here's the thing. When, you, when you're a freaking operating system, you got a lot of things going on. you got 18 billion different things. you got emails coming in. You're juggling different processes. And you only have one CPU, unless you have a dual processor CPU. But, uh, but you're, you're juggling everything, and you got to make a top priority. The point is, out of everything, my time dedicated to, to charity, my time dedicated to donating blood, my time dedicated to... Uh, improving the lives of inner city youths. All oh, of hold that. on, Brian. I got to hand feed my unicorn with a baby bottle. My times, <laughs> my times muting Andrew Main for interrupting my CPU cycles. All of that takes a backseat to you because you are the number one most important process on my CPU list. I like being number one. I like there being number go. one in Look, general. Brian. Yeah, I want to be number one on every process. Even if it has to be a CPU. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Andrew. There we go. Now, uh, ladies, you just need to pick out one more for Andrew May. Oh, no, no. <laughs> this is pressure. <laughs> what? Are you an iPhone? Because I want to enter your walled garden. Uh, <laughs> I don't 
don't even know what that means. Yeah, we. No, no, no. Yeah, no. Pick one you don't know what it means. Andrew will explain it to you. Oh, okay, yes, there we go. Do it. That's yeah. one. They want to explain the walled garden, Andrew. Explain. Well, well it's I... like this. When uh, Steve Jobs thought up the iPhone, he realized that one of the things that people wanted to have was a sense of security, not have to worry about viruses and malware, the kind of things you get from just dirty, dirty people who just don't know where they're surfing on the web because they talk about multi-core processors and try to imply that you're going to be number one because they use some unsafe operating system. Where if you're in a walled garden, everything's nice and organized inside of there. There are flowers. There's a lot of things there to make things... Awesomely communistic. That's why you're well oh, guarded. Right. Hey, come should on, be. Andrew, you, 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 you <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, go ahead. So, so like synchronicity. So, the, well, the idea behind a walled garden is it's you're you're protected. You're in the arms of somebody who cares about you and is looking out for you to make sure that this harmful malware doesn't get you. Yeah, okay. Fuck I'm about that shit. <laughs> this is a very Woo! close one. We have uh, Brian scored very highly with a top priority CPU reference. Andrew has countered with a walled garden metaphor that involves flowers for the ladies. Kimmy Kim and Fruitron, stars of the Hollywood is Hard web series. Who is the ultimate nerd Valentine's Day champion? Discuss <laughs> All right, we're gonna write them down and then show them at the same time. Oh, smart. See, this is why the ladies are smarter than men. And I've been exactly. saying that as long as we've done our show in FSW. Do, Brian, do I got to tell you, and, I uh, thought your last one was very well played. Subscribe. Uh, before you guys reveal your answers, uh, where can people find your YouTube series? Uh, YouTube. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood is hard. Yeah. Like penis. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody go there and subscribe right now. Have you written down your answers? Yes. How, wait, how are you going to handle if there's like a sudden death issue or are you guys going to take your shirts off? Uh, we will take off our shirts, yes. Really? Yes. Why do you still have them on? It's bad. That you was my question them. already. I don't oh, understand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. That's awesome. <laughs> wow, the ladies are drinking. And, and getting, <laughs> wow, this, this went, this really escalated quickly. <laughs> You do what you have to do when you. Well, when... Brian has taken off his shirt. Uh, <laughs> ladies, reveal your answers. This is why. All right, ready? Wait, ready? This is yep. who wins, right? This is, this who, is who wins. This is a tiebreaker. Yeah. Go. Oh, go, no! <laughs> oh, it's a tie! <laughs> That's right, it's now just half naked and alone. Wait, what happened? <laughs> Brian. Go, Brian. Hey, it's our new segment. Gift that, mother effers. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank you, Brian. laughs> this is awesome. All right, hold on. Oh, no. You know, we're, uh, we're running out of power. <laughs> uh, we've, we've, we've learned a very, very important lesson that when two nerds do battle uh, to win the heart of fetching young here. ladies from Los Angeles, there really are no winners. Now hey, Brian, I think you gave it up a little bit too quickly. I'm just saying. <laughs> I do. I think on dignity points alone, Andrew wins the tiebreaker. So congratulations, <laughs> Valentine's Day nerd Lothario, Andrew Maine. Listen, it is more than I could have hoped for. I have been overwhelmed on this Valentine's Day. I know that if, if I love and love and love and love, get that out of the way, Kim oh, Kim. Sorry. Oh, please. You love, love, love. It comes back to you in the form of a delightful baby unicorn. <laughs> well, well, there we go. Uh, Kimmy, Kim and Fruitron, do you guys have anything else that you want to get out there and let people know about? I just want people to know that I'm not a lesbian, um, but I do appreciate lesbians. <laughs> a bold and I'm thing. Drink beer <laughs> that one, I think. So, goodbye. It was, it was nice. You are all handsome gentlemen, and I, yeah. want, I want to bone all your faces through the computer. Yeah. Through the there internet. we go. Ladies and gentlemen, seriously, go check out Hollywood is Hard. It's very, very funny. Kimmy Kim and Fruitron, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you, thank you ladies. They are going to appear on our special Weird Things podcast episode. Yes. Yeah, to coming up tonight. It. Tonight. Yes. It's uh, Weird Things After After Dark. So there's uh, we got three ladies and three men's. And they'll, uh, who knows what shenanigans will ensue. It's a uh, date. 
we're all going to be on a date. No, Brian, the shirt stays off. Yes. Yeah, come on. You can't put it on before the end of the show. Not even like a bib. It stays God. off, Brian. Uh, well, uh, Brian, it looks like that's the end of the show now, isn't it? Uh, yes, it does, Justin Robert Young. And you are looking as handsome as ever in your awesome Night Attack uh, shirt. I, uh, I'm i feeling lovely. It's a very pretty time. Uh, <laughs> I, I got nothing as far All as... All right. Well, uh, you won an award this week. Before we I did. Ready. I did. The Scam School Talk about Show. the book award. Scam School by Vook, the publishing platform that we put up out of 600 books. Scam School was named the best overall book. That's for content and for the uh, the the stylings of it. And uh, best book ever. I'm so excited <laughs> that this is happening. Let me just let me just put that right there. There you go. Uh, the point is, it's like the weirdest theme for a male stripper ever. <laughs> You're like female. You're like nun. Like, did somebody call for a nun? <laughs> the important thing is that uh, Scam School Book is coming out on 314. We're going to do the biggest Operation Eye Scam of all time. I will wear uh, a nun's habit. It'll be amazing. And <laughs> I will be an Eastern European stripper. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, there we go, everybody. Uh, that's uh, Pi Day. The book comes out, right? Yeah, three fourteen, bro. It's gonna be amazing. Three fourteen is when you're gonna need to pay attention to it. Uh, until uh, then, of course, Andrew Main, uh, Chronological Man, and and all your books. Where can people find them? AndrewMain.com slash books. That's M A Y N E. And you can go to Amazon. Check out the Martian Emperor. It's the newest book, and we've got that up. And hope you enjoy it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Go, guys, go check it out. And please do me a favor and leave uh, comments uh, and uh, reviews on the, uh, on, on the books on Amazon. Uh, Justin R. Young on Twitter. I need like 50 more followers to hit 7,000. And I got to go to some big alumni event where a bunch of people I used to work with have real jobs. So please save me some shred of dignity and give me a large amount of Twitter followers so I can feel better about myself. Till next week, that's NSFW. Die in a fire. See you next Tuesday, party people. I love you. Wow, I this will. Valentine's Day ended like so many other Valentine's Day for me. <laughs> Awkward, weird, <laughs> shame. I don't know where the time went. I question my life decisions. down hello this is glitter let me, let me we're gonna try this has never been tried on the internet but... do it do it <laughs> what are you doing, doing justin <laughs> he's like hold on doing throw something the unicorn right. meat, justin throw it you don't have to catch God, it. it won't come off this stupid thing mom stop it's bothering me I'm trying to get the uni- oh here we go all right i got i got the yeah i got the head here you ready to get it Wait, no, I thought you were just throwing the can. Oh, okay. Well, here, I'll throw the can then. You just Bit's not going so the unicorn. Not so good, Al. Not wow, so good. Here we go. You ready? You guys ready? We'll, you catch it, okay? Here we go. And go. <laughs> we got it. I got it. Hey. I got a little fumble. Wow, we got it. <laughs> that unicorn went for a ride. Nice. The internet rules. Woo. 
Yeah, it's right. <laughs> 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 now we're going to take... We need to tweet our location. Mm-hmm. Well. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. <laughs> what port number did you use for that CUM? Canned unicorn meat. <laughs> You're on a cover of CUM. That's amazing. Sad Brian. I want Sad Brian. Sad Brian? Sad Brian with no shirt on. Mm. <laughs> what? Hey, mister! <laughs> hey, mister! Yeah. Hey, mister! You ever, you ever seen a man <laughs> looking like an Eastern European <laughs> prostitute? <laughs> Every time I turn around, you're hooking up with somebody new on the internet. Yeah, well, I'm a very uh, promiscuous internet personality. <laughs> here, go in ahead. In a moment, we're going to meet his wife. Yeah, no, no, she's right here. <laughs> Talk about it, Bon. Yeah, last last week I see him dancing with some man. <laughs> and then now I'm tuning in. I just don't know what to make. <laughs> who, was I, who was I dancing with? Him and, and both times you take a... You, you, you're looking a little ladyish. I don't know. Oh, you're talking. Yeah, no, I definitely was dancing with a man. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Bonnie. Oh. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Next week on One Tree Hill. <laughs> the CW. <laughs> <laughs> So they put this to new music, didn't yeah. they? Yeah, oh no, there's, there's like eight remixes. Too oh, soon! photos like you know the awkward uh, prom photo things at the end you know what if we were thinking that we actually wanted this to live on the internet then maybe yes we would have done those things <laughs> episode of NSFW show is brought to you by Netflix <laughs> <laughs> sorry go ahead <laughs> <laughs> All right. This episode of NSFW Show is brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV. <laughs> I actually moved your window all the way to the corner, and all there was was a sliver of screen, and I just saw your hand creep into it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> this episode of NSFW Show is brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly. All stream directly to you, saving you time. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Delayed reaction win! <laughs>